Nola Jet here at Kingfish Cider. Lots of cider in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for what to do around New Orleans, Kingfish Cider is unique as the first half room in Jefferson Parish, but instead of beer, they offer hard cider. Kingfish Cider is located in Jefferson Parish at 355 Irish Avenue, Sweet A, Jefferson, Louisiana, which is about 15 minutes and 7 miles away from the French Quarter. The Kingfish Cider location is on a street with many other warehouses and they don't have a large sign, so you really need to pay attention to make sure you don't miss the tap room location. This is a new business as Kingfish Cider just opened up back in May of 2021. Kingfish Cider is named after the infamous Louisiana politician Huey P. Long Jr., so expect to see him around the tap room. And we're going to go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. If you're looking for more fun things to do in New Orleans, Louisiana, the Kingfish Cider Tap Room offers some interesting options, and we'll be exploring their four cider flight to sample all of their current offerings for some New Orleans fun times with interesting drinks. And you can see their four cider options being created right here. They have a lot of interesting antiques and other nice design elements throughout this warehouse. So there's all sorts of interesting things to walk around and look at and they seem to keep adding extra things. Here's that Kingfish himself, Huey P. Long. So there's plenty of pictures of him around. We have the old cigarette advertisements as well. And there's all kinds of random places to sit and fun things to look at. So there certainly are some interesting pieces of furniture. And you can have a lot of good times in here with just an adventure of looking around at things. And then you have the cider bar right here with a lot of uh, great seating as well. So it's really a great space and they've done a good job in the short time they've been open. So as we look at the bar, we see we do have a selection of some items here. We've got our Prohibition Dry Perry, Huey Perry, Medium Dry Perry. Uncle Earl Hot Dry Apple Cider, Blanche Dry Apple Cider. So those would be the four different ciders they have on offer for today. So they offer flights with four or five ounce ciders or beers from other breweries in the area of your choice for $12. You can also get a 12 ounce glass or a to-go can or a 16 ounce to-go can. So. Do have a lot of variety here and they do have the options other than their cider so that's always good to have choice i'm way more of a beer drinker than a cider drinker but i do appreciate a good cider now and then so i'm gonna jump in here and do the sampler and see how i like the cider <laughs> got a little cider sampling here yeah so we're gonna start with the uh blanche yeah, a little dry apple cider here Prost. Tastes like dry apple cider. This is the Uncle Earl Hop Dry Apple Cider. Apple cider with hops. Uh, I like my beer to have hops, not my cider. And a little Huey Perry, a medium dry Perry here. Hmm. It's uh, different. A little sort of like a beer mixed with a cider. Our prohibition, a dry carry. Does that mean no alcohol? Hmm. Definitely uh, very dry. Not any sweetness at all. Uh -huh. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So, 
the Blanche, the dry apple cider one, and uh, I like the Huey, which is a medium dry Perry. I like the Huey the best out of all of them. So this will be first place, second place, and I'm not very, uh, not, not a very big fan of either of the Prohibition or of uh, the Uncle Earl. So 50% hit rate here for me. So, close to the Blanche. And Prost to our Huey Perry. <laughs> all right, I've made it all the way through. Last little drop to drink, Prost. So just like I destroyed these ciders, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about all these ciders. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for the cider sampler with tip was $15.10. Ultimately, I have to say that overall, I really wasn't a big fan of any of the ciders that I tasted. I found them all to really be lacking carbonation and being uh, kind of just flat and flavorless overall. Um, I really like the Apfelwein style of cider in Frankfurt, Germany. Had many good uh, British ciders that were more sweet and tart. So I would like uh, to see a little more tartness or even a little bit of sweetness in the ciders. So hopefully they will gain more experience in their cider making and get to uh, the experience level where they can get more flavor infused in their ciders and more carbonation. It uh, generally for the ciders just uh, felt kind of flat. I mean, some of them had a little bit of flavor you could get, but they were very mellow and uh, just not that very flavorful. So certainly were the least flavorful ciders I've ever tasted and uh, just didn't seem to have a lot of appeal to my taste buds. So hopefully, uh, like I said, we'll get some better products as they gain more experience because hey, they're brand new, so we'll give them some leeway and we'll come back and try them out when they've had some more time to optimize their recipes. But they also have plenty of other good drinks here and lots of good local beers, so you can always try that out too. So thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in and watching the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me and I really would appreciate it. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.